This is a solemn occasion at what is a very sad time in the life of our nation. The deep sense of loss is felt in every corner of this United Kingdom, in the Commonwealth and right across the world, reflecting the high esteem and great affection in which the Duke of Edinburgh was held and will always be held. However, none greater will be the grief, the sorrow, than that being felt by Her Majesty the Queen. As 73 years of, eight years of companionship, of comfort, of unfailing love and support comes to an earthly end, I know that with Her Majesty's own personal faith in the great comforter, the Lord Jesus Christ, Her Majesty will find great strength and solace in these days and those that lie ahead. Yet, Madam Deputy Speaker, it is also a day to celebrate the life of an extraordinary man, to celebrate a remarkable marriage, the love and support of a husband, a father, a grandfather, great-grandfather and friend, to celebrate a life of service, whether that be as a consort or the bravery and heroism in service of this nation in World War II, to celebrate his legacy in the Duke of Edinburgh award scheme and the transformative impact that has had on so many lives, to celebrate his zest for life and, as we've heard so often referred to, that twinkle in his eye, his sense of fun. Madam Deputy Speaker, the like of this remarkable man, His Royal Highness, the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, will never be seen again. On behalf of my constituents in Upper Ban, I express the utmost appreciation for his life of service, of love and loyalty, and express my sincerest sympathies to Her Majesty the Queen and the entire royal family. Our prayer remains, God save the Queen.